Whew. Good morning guys, my name is Trevor. Welcome back to the Artivet YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing something that most shops will do for you for free if you buy tires with them. However, I wanted to show you guys how to do it, so I'm going to end up doing it myself using Miss Dory here. Let's roll that intro. So what that thing is that most tire shops will do when you buy a set of tires from them are free rotations. And that is taking your wheels and rotating them because as you can see on mine, maybe not so much. If we go in here, I stick my finger, I'll use my pinky finger, I stick it down there. You can kind of see where the tread's at. And then if we come back here to the same location and I stick my finger in there there's more tread on the back because this is a front wheel drive vehicle therefore and i do spin my front tires more often like spinning them because they have power whereas the rear do not so we're going to take our rears and we're going to put them up front and we're going to take our front and put them in the rear that way we can try and help even out some of that wear and not completely make these guys bald while those are still basically brand new so i'm gonna set you guys down get some tools out show you what you need all right so as far as tools you'll need the correct socket for your lugs I happen to have 21 and a 19 because on my adapter here my key it uses a 21 here and a 19 there then you're gonna need a, a socket wrench will help if you have a power tool an impact that is capable of doing this it makes it a whole lot easier then you might not need a breaker bar however if you're going manual tools like i am here breaker bar definitely wanted and last but not least a torque wrench a jack some stands some jack stands here and for dora we need a hex key an allen key to get these caps off and then we can access the lugs all right so you're going to want to check your user's manual to know your jacking locations and right now I've got the front up here but before you get all your jacks up be sure that you have your lug nuts broke loose so get your breaker bar out put your socket on there so we'll go ahead and we'll put our socket on there make it can't find the right pattern there we go get our breaker bar put on there with our socket I'll set you guys right here now that those are broke loose we'll go ahead and jack the rest of the car up put it on stands and get these tires off swapped Okay, now we've got the rear tire, what used to be the rear tire up here on the front. It's not torqued down yet, but I wanted to talk you guys over. This is a good time to kind of inspect things back here. Um, you got your wheel off, you could check your brakes. Mine are doing amazing. I love those brakes that I got. I can uh, put a link in the description below. These are my two wheel, two inch wheel spacers. And excellent time to check these while you got the wheels off they seem to all be nice and tight good so now we're gonna put the wheel on here and do our star pattern so we'll go from one to the next to the next to the next to the next and back to the beginning and just keep doing that so what I typically do is hand tighten all of them get them tight on there with my hands and then wrench on one to the next to the next to the next to the next and I do that at least three times because as you do it, some that will suck down because these are the acorn lugs, so they will center you, your wheel for you. So, 
go ahead and start that process again on the rear. <laughs> All right, next very important step, now that we've got these all hand tight and tighten with the wrench, is to get your torque wrench out. Now you'll need to verify your torque specs for your specific vehicle. However, if it is a fifth generation Ford Explorer that is 2011 to 2019 year of Ford Explorer, you need 100 foot pounds of torque. And so I've already got mine put on here. It's at 100 ready to go, got my socket, and now we're gonna torque these puppies down in the same star pattern as we did before. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. And then I typically like to do it again, just to double check, one, two, three, four, five, and then I'm good. Let's go ahead and do that. There we go. We know that they're torqued now because our torque wrench clicks. When you hit that marking that you have down here, it'll click. That's how you know that it is torqued to that spec. Now, this is our last step. Go ahead and put this cover back on. We gotta get them lined up. And there we go so now our wheels and tires are rotated the other side is the same process i'm going to go ahead and end the video off here so if this guy if this video helped you guys out smash that thumbs up don't forget to click the red subscribe button drop us a comment down below let us know if it did help you or if you have any questions comments concerns we'd love to hear them thank you guys so much for tuning in and we'll catch you tomorrow in another video before we end it now we're ready for what we've been waiting for and i can't wait this was the last thing to get done before a big vacation that's right i just told you guys it's out we'll see you guys very soon have a great night and god bless don't ever give up god is here with you yeah you are a child nothing but love is true just got it fixed in view keep your eyes on the prize that's life everlasting only through jesus christ